Hi, today I'm going to show you a real basic, really, really basic uh, way to build some objects in Element 3D. I know a lot of you have Element 3D, you have After Effects, but you don't have or may not have 3D Studio Max or Lightwave or Cinema 4D or Maya or whatever other 3D programs are out there that people use uh, to create their models. And so you're stuck with either buying models from TurboSquid or borrowing models from some friends or whatever. But honestly, uh, depending on the complexity of the model you're trying to create, you can do it within Element. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started first thing we're going to do is create a new composition okay and we're going to create a new layer a new solid and we're going to call that element then we're going to create an effect and we're going to go to video copilot element we'll drop that on there let's go into the scene setup now this is the area of the program where you can model and so let's go ahead and start creating a model so we're going to do kind of a room and let's create a box and you'll see that the box is created initially with a chamfer and segments. Turn that chamfer down, turn those segments down, put no smoothing on there. Now let's go here to the sizing tool and let's just squeeze this on the X to about the thickness of a wall. Now let's go to the right view and you can see where this is situated it's below the center point, the center line of the grid. Let's move that up. Now let's click on this, which is the axis lock, which will allow you to move the axis. And let's move that just straight down there. Now let's go to the front view and move the axis to the edge. Now let's go to perspective. Actually, let's go to the top view and let's move that right to the edge. Now we can go to perspective and you can see now that we have a box <coughs> with its axis moved. Let's zoom out a little bit using and zooming out and zooming in using the middle mouse button. Okay, so what we want to do here is let's shrink that down a little bit and pull it right out like so. Okay, that will be the bottom part of the wall. <coughs> we'll call this window wall bottom. Okay, now holding down the Alt key drag this piece out to make a duplicate of it and let's shrink that down on the Z and then let's move it let's get it lined back up and then let's move it up And now let's scale it up. Okay. Now, let's go here and using the Alt key again, let's click and drag a dupe of that. And then let's click and drag another dupe and bring it right to the edge. And you can play around with precision as you wish, but I want to try to get this done quickly and I won't have to bore you. I want to just kind of teach you how to do this. So let's hit uh, control and click on the bottom one and then hold alt and drag that up. So now you can see that we have a wall that has two windows cut into it. So let's click it. Let's click hold control and hold this. Now that one's called window wall bottom. This one we'll call window wall top. This piece we'll call window wall left. This piece will be window wall middle. And of course, this last piece will be window wall right. Okay, so now holding the shift key, let's click all of these pieces and then holding the Alt key, let's just drag out a duplicate. So now you have what looks like a little hallway. So now we need a back wall here. Now you can do this by creating another box, or you could do this by 
control clicking on that bottom piece or any of the parts and then let's go to rotate and holding the shift key will constrain the movement so take that to a right move that back let's go to the top view using the middle mouse button to scroll out let's pull that in there let's pull that over to there and then let's scale this and then let's go back to perspective and whoop. let's just move that in a little bit more didn't duplicate it. Let's pull this out and let's rotate it. And now let's move it back in. Let's move it over a little bit and let's scale it. Now let's control click this one and scale it up. This is very touchy. Let's do it this way. So let's uh, grab this, turn off the scale lock, and just scale it up until it gets to the top. Okay, so now we have three walls. Let's actually move this one back. Control click. Like this. I just want this piece. There we go. Move that back. Okay. Now we have this. Let's create a plane. Move that into the center. Scale it up. And it toward the back and then this will be the floor and then let's hold alt drag that up now if you rotate around you can see this doesn't have a back face so let's go here let's name it first ceiling let's grab the default texture scroll all the way down to drop back face okay so now we have a completed room. Let's grab this one again. Continue to adjust that till it fits perfectly. Okay, so now we have a little room that you can continue to build on. You can add textures to it. You take it in and do animation, move the camera around, create a longer hallway with some doors and some other side hallways or move these walls further apart, make a big living room out of it. It's a way to get started by creating some very simple shapes that will resemble whatever it is you're trying to create using the uh, primitives that come with Element. Now we're going to continue with this in the next lesson, so stay tuned.